Welcome to Engineering Model Scale Models. I'm Jason, your host, and I do models. It is time to unbox a new tool. This is from Singlet. They were kind enough to send this to me for review. I do believe I have to give it back though, but I can buy it if I so choose. So let's take a look at what we got here. With the overhead camera, it's zoomed out because it's a decent sized box. It measures what it measures here. It measures uh, where's these architectural rulers are weird. There's one there it is. So this is not it. So it's twelve about 14 inches square and uh, it's eight inches tall so let's it, it oh and it is a digital multimeter the sdm 3045x so i i had requested this and because of i needed a benchtop meter and I said I was interested in purchasing one, but I didn't know if I wanted to make the commitment. And if I could do a review on it, and if I liked it, I will, you know, maybe buy it, and maybe I can get a discount on it. So, let's open it up here. We have a power cable. It is the right power setting. It's going in the U.S. So, got a quick start guide. USB cable and some decent looking probes and that's it. Hey buddy, can you take this? Thank you. Okay, let's put the meter back down. It is wrapped in good foam. Let's pull this off here. It is a tight fit on the foam. That is a good thing. Looks like there's some silica gel in here. I have to wrap this back up and send it back. You guys could donate on Patreon link in the description below to help me afford this meter. Do a lot of cool products with it. There are a lot of reviews talking about how this works and whatnot, so I will not go into that. It will fit where I want it to fit and you should be able to see it. This has software where I can connect it to the computer. So that's a good thing and it looks like I'll be able to stack two of these on top of each other if I so get two. Um, one is plenty for right now. Let's take a look at this here. Um, give me one moment here. see a power port I can plug this into and I'll, I'll route the cable correctly at another time so what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this in here so it is set to 220 I need to set it to 110 there's a little switch back here right down there it's set to 220 I need to set it to 110 so that's a good thing. I don't believe I need to change any fuses. So let's plug that in there like that. And let us... It is weird how it comes with a 110 plug, but it was set for 220. That is a interesting concept. Now I will set this like this. And I will bring in the little web camera and we can do this. Oh, that's horrible. But we'll try to make it better. There we go. Hopefully that's good, guys. Go up a little bit. Okay, so let's press the power button. It's a soft power button. And we're going to take a look at these leads they gave us. Let's 
staple in the bag. If you're familiar with my channel, you know that staples defeat me many times. But I won that, I won that victory. So the leads seem pretty decent. They look like a lot of the other leads I have. I like leads with the exchangeable tips, but you know, what can you do? So let us plug this in. We're gonna do some DC, we're gonna do some resistance to start off with. So we're gonna pull what I have down here. Let's take my little Adreno right here and we're gonna measure the resistor and see what we got. So we're gonna put it on resistance and we're going to measure across this. So that's a 500 that looks like it's 500 ohms that doesn't seem correct that really doesn't seem correct that is definitely a 10k resistor Let's measure this 220 ohm resistor. All right, let's just do, let's put us one of these alligator clips on here and we'll see if that helps. I haven't played with this thing yet, so I don't know. This is me learning as I go here, so I am going to clip that to this end of the resistor. Now I'm going to test this resistor here. That's given me... Two, 220 it is giving me the 220 so let us check this thing again so I'm going to clip that alligator clip on there there we go now it's reading 10k it must have been because it was in the circuit it didn't like something in the circuit so we got 10k there and if we put it on the potentiometer part we put it on the wiper let's see how accurate and fast it reads here so if we yeah it's pretty good it's in slow speed but it's it's reading it pretty quickly now I'm at the end so it should be very low resistance so that is resistance let us let us check a voltage reading I don't have a circuit no, I don't really have a circuit for voltage but we can check this diode so let us clip on to well, let's just see what happens when we click no, that's not right Right there, right there, that's the diode. Let's go to shift diode. No, I'm in continuity now. now diode, so it's got a, f why is it beeping? Now there's continuity. Why is it beeping on the diode? Let's light the diode and it's giving me a forward voltage of 0.8. So I don't know why it's beeping. Maybe I can turn oh oh I can turn the beep off. There we go. Alright, let's try that again. So testing this diode, it's got a forward voltage of 1.8. So so can we change? It can change. 
we can change the threshold voltage across it but it's still reading a voltage drop so that must have been the auto set so that's pretty cool let's check another diode let's pull one of my red diodes out here let's check this diode here it does light the diode this one has a 1.7826 voltage drop or forward voltage so that's pretty cool diode function um, like I said, I don't have anything to read voltage right now, So, but it has volts, it has amperage. It does everything a regular meter will do, and other things, it'll do math functions. So this is just a quick unboxing and just some quick test with it to see how easy it is to use. And, you know, if I was able to figure out how to um, do stuff on there pretty quickly. So, I mean, I just got it. You saw me unbox it and do this new editing involved. So I'm going to call it here, you know, this is, I'm going to, you know, I get to try it for two weeks. So I'm going to give a, so in some videos I'm going to be using it to, you know, show different aspects of it and see if I like it. That's going to do it for this, guys. You visit me on social media. You can also go to my Patreon and donate to help me afford this piece of equipment. But that'll do it for this video. Thank you so much and have a great day.